Marco Rojas. He was clever thinking from Rojas. He got good contact on it. Perhaps just trying to catch Liam Reddy off his line. Well, Ricky Herbert will be naming a New Zealand side for friendlies against Japan and uh, South Korea in a few weeks and uh, you can bet your bottom dollar that Marco Rojas will be on that list as well I would imagine is Costa Barbarousas as New Zealand like Australia look to rejuvenate after the World Cup bring in some new blood two pretty exciting young players as well for the All Whites to call upon the All White supporters will be salivating at the prospect two young guns who have really stepped up. I mean, Costas Barbarous has been wonderful all season. Rojas has come to emergence later in the season. And perhaps Trimmers, the sign of a new breed of player coming through in New Zealand as well. Absolutely. Very technical, both of them. You've, combining still, got the, you've still got a few bruises from those old days against the All-Whites, haven't you? Perhaps a couple of studs still in my shins. But now they've been wonderful. Combining technique with speed, which really is the way of the modern game since they could have a wonderful future together in that all-white national team. Here's Jamison. Well, Sydney FC done everything but score so far. Vinislav Levitska will uh, know his team should be on the score sheet will be anxious but they get themselves a goal for all this early domination doesn't want history repeating itself this has been the case at times this season here's Cole time to measure the cross that's better defending this time from Daniel Nicky Carl Again, coming to the fore, lovely technique and summing up the situation so quickly, the spin and then the volley. He's a couple of metres off target. But he just loves getting on the football, always prompting and prodding from midfield. But he's starting to get in scoring positions too, which I think is the real the part of his game that he needed to improve. Saw that wonderful goal in Perth a couple of weeks ago. He really needs to do that more often. Cole's corner is disappointing. Strong header from Ryle. Moriasu, his shot blocked. McFlynn turns it back in. The knockdown, the chance here for Mafela. What a wonderful tackle that was from young James Musa. Still with Sydney. The dummy from McFlynn. The shot from Carl. More desperate defending from Wellington. It needed to be. Well, James Musa, he may have been all at sea in the opening 10 or 15 minutes, but he's made a couple of vital contributions in a row in that sequence. Sydney FC, they spoke about Kazarine and McKellen. How could they combine? Well, we saw an example of it there. Lovely layoff from Kazarine for his strike partner. Jamison's corner. Kazarine again wins it in the air. Here's Keller. Well, the Phoenix are hanging on, but only just. Five corners now for Sydney. A welter of chances. Danny Vukovic has pulled off some fantastic saves, but for how much longer can they be denied? Sydney FC, Mikaela just needed a touch. And again, it was that Sydney physical presence in the penalty area. The ball fell invitingly. Mikaela perhaps just a little bit flat-footed. Musa with a... Handful of shirt as well, not spotted. But they're living a charmed life at the moment at the back, the Phoenix. Hearfield. Rojas. It's a good contest with Jamison, who dives in and wins the ball. That's a poor layout from Michaela. Sydney are in danger here. Rojas, assuming to get away from German. Ball across the 
six-yard box and Reddy has done ever so well with Chris Greenacre just waiting to pounce on the mistake. Lovely skill again from Roas. Brilliant little step over, just eluding Matt German. That's a brilliant piece of individual work. Got his head up and then Liam Reddy read it quickly, got across in front of Greenacre. A warning sign perhaps for the Sky Blues. Here's Moriasu. I think McKellen will be a relieved man as well. I think it was his turnover that left Scott Jamison well out of position after he'd run to support. Musa, the Marco Rojas trimmers. We love to watch him. Such an exciting young talent, and there's an illustration of just what he brings to the game. Absolutely brilliant. We've seen some Brazilians do that superbly. The likes of Denilson and Ronaldo. But this is a New Zealand-born player here, putting on a show for the fans. Wonderful skill. But not just wonderful skill and tricks, Mike, but with an end purpose as well. That's what's most impressive. Good ball from Moriasu. Better run from Jamison. He needs to measure the cross. Can't beat North. Kazarin was the target. Well, he's a Kiwi with a Chilean background, Marco Rojas. It's a good mix. Work rate of a Kiwi and the silky skills of a South American. Here he is again. Well, Scott Jamison knows he's got a tussle on his hands on that far side against Marco Rojas. He enjoys playing at this stadium as well, Marco Rojas. We saw him come on in the game earlier in the season here, late in that second half, and he really put Sydney under pressure as the Phoenix drove to get back into that game. And he started well again tonight. It's a clear free kick. Tim Brown did well to get his body between McFlynn and the ball. as if uh, Wellington do go into the sheds at half-time, having not conceded a goal. Ricky Herbert will be counting his lucky stars. Absolutely. It's incredible to think. And it's still nil-nil. Danny Vukovic point-blank saves on at least three or four occasions. Here's Carl. header from Jamison, Moriasu. No flag against Kazarine. It's come late though, it has come from the assistant referee, Sarah Ho. It looked pretty clear cut to me. It yeah, looked like a good decision. Assistant referee just waiting for that. Kazarine to actually engage with the football, which often leaves the supporters a little bit uh, anxious until they see that flag go up, but that's the rule. Often leads some strikers to say, hey, let me save some energy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been influential, Bruno Kazarin, in this first half. He's really added some force into that front line for Sydney. Kazarin contracted until the end of the group stage of the ACL. Quoted in the papers today saying he's not too worried about his future. I guess if you've had 13 different clubs in your career, as he has had, tend not to worry about your future too much. But he has been a decent signing for Sydney FC. Arrived unheralded, really, Bruno Cazarin. And has delivered the goals. 
Yeah, the long was looking for. Season. We saw Sydney play across the front of teams quite a lot. Not really test them defensively, but he's given that physical presence straight up the middle. We know Alex Bryce, wonderful player, tends to like to run wider. But he straightened them up. Here's Ryle. Now Cole. Right four for Michaela. It does so. McFlynn. Well, he didn't know much about it, Terry McFlynn. He knew very little about it, in fact, but he almost got lucky. Haven't they had some chances, Sydney FC? Now McAllister. Daniel. Ready, he gets the final touch. So it's a corner for the Phoenix. It could have been a goal for Sydney at the other end. And again, it was McKelly. He didn't get enough on the back heel. And McFlynn thought the chance had gone. But then Jade North tracking back didn't get enough on his clearance. And all of a sudden, the presented itself again for Terry McFlynn. But I don't think he was ready for it. Didn't really get too much contact on it. Dribble towards Vukovic. But again, straight to the centre of the defence. Corner swung in. Flicked on at the near post. Cole's done well under pressure. Phoenix, though, will get themselves another corner. Keep it defending from Shannon Cole. The key to that was staying goal side of his man. So often when those flicks come at the near post, players get caught, perhaps ball watching, lose sight of their man. Not Shannon Cole on that occasion. He stayed goal side. Daniel's corner. That'll clear ready. Actually cleared by Sydney, but not terribly convincing. Ward now looking for McAllister, but that's an overhit pass. McFlynn drives it down the line looking for Makala, but Musa was there first. Rojas has swapped flanks. He now intends to give Shannon Cole some grief. Which I'm sure Scott Jamison is relieved to see. He's now got to deal with Daniel on the other side. Ward. Optimistic attempt there from Nick Ward and it's a follow through by Daniel German. Pretty late there from the Brazilian. German's not happy. Peter Green will have a word. Just a free kick, nothing more. Yeah, the miss hit shot from Nicky Ward. And then Daniel, I don't think it was too much in it. He was just trying to block the clearance. A little bit clumsy, perhaps. Jamison, as you said, perhaps a little bit relieved, but still has to face up to the tricks. Perhaps Daniel not having that pace to get in behind him, though. Michaela. Kazarine. What a save again from Danny Vukovic. Or well, Bruno Kazarine.